Hello everyone. I've been getting a lot of comments about the uh, 3D printed uh, Mavic clone um, that I posted some pictures on, on uh, both on Facebook and uh, um, on DIY uh, RC. Um, I keep getting asked how it is that I uh, made the uh, machine come out so well and so I thought I'd uh, take a few minutes and give you guys a quick uh, tutorial on what it is that I did. Um, the first thing I want to do is give credit to the individual uh, CDR. He's the guy that designed it. Um, I've just spruced it up or polished it up you might say. By the end of the day CDR has done an outstanding job designing this thing and um, you know kudos to him for the fine work, the fine effort that he's put into it. Um, I'm just going to show you a little bit about how I uh, spruced it up, that's all. What I have here is the back cover. It's 3D printed. A buddy of mine printed it based on CDR's design. As you can see, there's a number of ridges. You can hear when I run my finger over it. You know, 3D printing is... Uh, I've always been impressed with 3D printing, but I've never been impressed with the quality of the, the print. Mostly because of this. I like things to be smoother and uh, rounder and, well... What can I tell you? 3D printing just doesn't quite do that. At least not yet. Anyways, this is the back cover for a friend of mine's um, 3D, uh, 3D printed Mavic clone. And I'm going to do him a favor and use it as the guinea pig while I show you folks how to, uh, how to spruce it up. It's really pretty easy. It's a couple hours worth of work, but uh, when you're done, um, as you can see from the pictures of mine that are on this video and you've probably seen on the, uh, on the forum, it turns out pretty good. You only need a couple things. You need some sandpaper, two kinds, 220 and a 400 grit uh, sandpaper. And you also need some good old fashioned Bondo. I buy this at Canadian Tire. I'm Canadian, so I buy it at Canadian Tire. Um, if you're anywhere else in the world, uh, any automotive supply kind of place, even Walmart might actually sell it, uh, although I've never gone looking for it. And you're going to need some kind of a spatula of some sort that you can go and apply the Bondo to this. Now, you might think I'm a little bit crazy, but all you're really trying to do is fill in these little dips, those little things that create the uh, unevenness. And Bondo is a great filler for that. Now, the other thing I will tell you is the top and the other piece that goes on the front are the only pieces that you have to really go to town with some Bondo. The other parts of the frame you can really just primer it, um, which is another thing I didn't bring it in into the, the house, but you need a good good can of uh, really good um, gray primer. Uh, the other body parts, you're simply just going to have to spray them two or three coats of primer, sand them, maybe spray them again, and you'll find that they come up quite nice. These parts, however, uh, they're going to need a little bit of Bondo. So I'll show you what I did. I first start out by mixing myself a heap and helping of uh, good old fashioned Bondo. Stuff stinks so make sure your wife is not around or she's going to get pretty annoyed with you. A little dab of hardener. Well, it's more than a little dab. Mix it up. This is probably more than I actually need but hey in theory, I would be doing both parts of the front, or both parts of the top, I should say. Not just this back, but I'm only going to go and do the back for this demonstration. And once we know she's mixed up pretty good, I know you drone enthusiasts don't normally have Bondo, but I'm kind of an unusual sort of drone builder, so I've got Bondo and other kinds of plastic molding stuff. Anyways, you just take it and just carefully spread it on. Try to be careful around the button because the last thing you want to do is fill the button in. And if you go across like this, what you'll do is you'll start filling in all the, the bits of the grain. Now there is a line across here. Now I didn't worry about it on mine. That's up to you. Um, 
In this case I'm not going to worry about it either. For this little demo. Anyways, just start smearing it on. It's kind of a fun and smelly kind of job. You can scrape some of it off afterwards. You're not trying to go too crazy on it. Later on you're going to sand it. Now when you go to sand it, I suggest what you do is you get a bucket of water. Preferably warm water because you don't want your hands getting cold. And using this particular sandpaper, this is wet dry sandpaper, you uh, sand it in the water. The reason you do that, number one, is so that the uh, sanding dust doesn't go through all your house. Because the last thing you want is for your wife to get mad at you. And the other reason for that is it helps keep the sandpaper clean and doesn't clog up. There we go. That's all you have to do. And since I've got Bondo out, I'm going to get the other part. Might as well do the other part of the top. A Bondo takes a little time to dry, so... Um, you know, by the magic of video, you're going to see me uh, suddenly have parts that are dry. And yes, I know, I'm filling in the holes where the screws go, but that's okay, we'll clean them out after the fact. Okay. There we go, it's a little bit on the thick side in some spots, but, oops, a little chunk in there, we don't want that. And that's it. So, guys, here we are. I've uh, sanded it now. Um, this piece took me about oh, maybe 15 minutes to sand the way it is. You can see now it's smooth. You can see how the body filler is filled in all the all the grooves. All you're really after is the body filler to show up and make sort of that feathered look. It's just intended to go and fill in those spaces. You can see the top it's much the same. All right. I just had to re-drill the holes because of course I'd mistakenly filled them in with uh, with body filler, but not a big deal. Next up is I'm going to go and take them out and uh, spray them with some primer. I'm going to do this one as well. You can see that the, you know, the finish is pretty good on this thing, but it could benefit from a little bit of the sanding, a little bit of primer. So this is going to get three heavy coats of primer on it, and then I'm going to go and sand it. These two are going to get two good coats of primer on it, and then I'm going to sand them, and I'll sand them both with uh, 400 grit. And then once that's done, they'll all get one light coat of primer one more time, and then 400 grit, and you'll see what the results are like. So, back shortly. Alrighty then. Well, I'm back from the garage. I've uh, sprayed these things. Uh, these parts have been sprayed two coats, uh, one on the back and two on the front. And this one's been sprayed three or four times. So next step is I'm going to take a wander over to the bucket of water, give them a quick sand with the 400 grit, and I'll be right back. Well, here you go. I just brought them back from the bucket, sanded them all off. Now you see there's a few little nicks in this. It just needs a little bit more sanding in that, but other than that, she's good to go. The top. Looking good. I would uh, just take it outside and give it one last spray and a light sanding with the 400 grit. 
this is the arm. You can see the gray. That's the low and the dark is the high. But now it's nice and smooth. Now you can just take that out. Another coat of a gray primer. And you're all done. Um, I think I'll give that one a little bit of a sand. I'll be right back. So here we go, uh, they've all been primed once again and they're just going to get one real quick uh, sanding down with the 400 grit and uh, we'll be done. And here we are back, they've now been uh, wet sanded at 400, you can see how uh, shiny it is under the water. Now, for mine, I just sprayed it with clear, uh, clear matte actually, because um, I was after the uh, Mavic kind of finish. But uh, at this point, you guys can uh, pretty much paint it whatever color you want. See? Turned out pretty good. There's the leg. Now, in my case, I'd probably prime it one more time and then seal it, um, but nice and smooth, makes for a nice finish. And not a lot of work. That took maybe 30 seconds per part to do the final little spraying, so all in all it's probably, I don't know, 30 minutes per part in total, if that. and. Uh, there you go. Anyways, um, just a reminder, it's two types of sandpaper, 220, 400. Um, you're going to need some good gray primer and uh, body filler. And that's about it. Anyways, enjoy. Cheers.